Hello, everyone, and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, and welcome to the Catch Up Volume 31. Another week for Manchester United fans, another week for Manchester United himself. Hasn't been the best week for Manchester United, guys. Ain't been if good. Oh, points dropped all over the place again. It's been been it's been bad. Apart from the fact that we went through the West against West Ham in the FA Cup, which was also a rubbish game. Still dropping points against West Brom, a team that everyone takes, you know, for everyone does not even I was about to say everyone takes for granted. Nah, man, nah, man. A, a team that everyone takes, you know, for fun, you know, taking three points, creating chances and all that kind of stuff. But yes, yet again, Manchester United have left us down. Seven points behind Manchester City right now. Not the best. Two wins in the last seven games, guys. Ah, uh, hasn't been good, but welcome, guys. As usual, I have my two boys, Amok and Jex. Amok, what are you saying, bro? How's it been? I've been all right, you know. I try not to stress about, like you just said, two wins in seven. That's four. But you just got to take it in because we had a, that great run. We hope it continues. We hope the players get back on the field. Like I said, we've got a very good squad. We hope something changes quick, bro, quick. And what about you, Jax, man? What are you saying? How you been, bro? bro? How are you feeling? I'm good, bro. Um, off the back of what just uh, what Amok just said, we've been a, a shit set of results for us. We've had poor, poor run of form at the moment, but hopefully we can turn that around. We just have to wait and see. But not happy with the current form that we're in at the moment. No. Okay, guys. And of course, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, guys. Remember to share because sharing our Warren Spice is caring, guys. And of course, this week we'll be talking about the game against West Brom. Yes, we'll do indulge into that game, dissect it, look at all the things that went wrong for us as well. And then we'll talk about the Premier League weekend roundup. Some interesting wins, some interesting defeats for our ops, of course. Again, we will talk about the preview against Real Sociedad, Europa League, back to Thursday night football, guys, unfortunately. And again, wrapping it up with the match preview against Newcastle, the Premier League game on the weekend. Diving straight into the match against West Brom, guys. Manchester United won against West Brom. Drop points. Harry Maguire, Victor Vindelov, Slabbed, I'm so tired. Like, oh, and the performance against <laughs> individuals as well. <laughs> ah, but boy, 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 it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best for Manchester United. It was a poor performance from the guys in general. You know, a team that normally anyone will go to and touch them up, you know, create chances and pack them in, you know, you get me. But us, unfortunately, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. And Oli has well to say that, no, was it Maguire who said that no one goes to West Brom and creates more than 10 chances and all that stuff? Well, people do. They do. What a fool he is. But guys, nice, man, let's go straight into it, man. I'm up, man. Let me know how you felt about that match against West Brom, man. I was very disappointed. Very disappointed. Just the early goal itself. And my favourite individual I've been backing for a very long time. That should have been a goal. We did not have to concede that goal. Lenny Love blocked so hard. And he was, he was all over the place that time, even for the, for the next six, seven, eight minutes. There was honours. All the thing was just shaky. And it was just painful to see us concede against, like you just said, I, it was a Sunday, it was Sunday, Valentine's Day. We not play Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, not any big club we play in West Brunch. Come on, man. Like he says, that's a free point. Easy free point based on what we've been doing so far this season. Like I said, Jack said it. Wait till May. So all them fans was getting upset, excited. And I told you a month ago, look City. A month and a half ago, I told you, see, look, see, see what they've done now. It's just football. 
it was just disappointing to see us defend the way we defended in the first 20 minutes of that match. We were just disappointed. We did not have to. Like we've got eighty million dollar defender. Hey, I'm up. You must captain. be with eighty million dollars. Eighty million pounds. Get that correct? Because eighty million dollars is not what we spent. No. Less. Captain, like we spent. Eighty less. million pounds. Yes. That's even way more. Mm -hmm. Like, boy, I don't know. Maguire. I don't even want to talk about Maguire. I always said it. I wouldn't even pay fifty for Maguire. And you, Jakes, man. Exactly how did you feel about the game against West Brom, man? You watched that game. I sat down. As soon as I sat down, <clears throat> running a bit late. As soon as I sat down, I can see them. I sat down. I said, you, said you were really late. Oh, I, man. I had my food ready. I had my little drink. I sat down with my food and drink. <laughs> and we can see them. I said you didn't even get a first bite. <laughs> but you had chopped, didn't it? Bro, it messed up my appetite. Because, to be honest with you, I blame Lindelof, but not too much. Only because, look at him, he's not strong. The other striker, who I'm not too sure who, who he is, he was aggressive, he was strong, he had a run on him. He wanted he looked, it more. He wanted it more, exactly. He wanted it more. Wait, um, I, did, I did not see that from Lindelof. Yeah, yeah, I do blame him for that goal. I do. And especially because it's two minutes in. The first five, ten minutes, twenty minutes, you're at your sharpest. Mm -hmm. You should be mentally, mentally ready. You know, ready. I'm just upset. Um, yeah, it was an upsetting start, and that whole first half, the whole team was lackluster. You would have thought that everyone had their Valentine's the, the night before. Everyone was tired. Everyone was moving slow. Right, no, right. definitely. Um, right, right. My fire, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Defensively, I'm not too sure what he was doing. But going forward, at least for the goal for Fernandez, wasn't it Maguire that gave it to Shaw? Maguire was moving out of the ball a lot and he was helping us create chances a little bit. However, the whole game was dead. Um, I'm not really too impressed with anyone, really. Maybe Bruno, Cavani. I can't think of too many others. Cavani didn't even have any much chance, touches on the ball. Yeah, like three well, or four there's, touches. Bro. There's a problem there, then. There's a problem there. If Maguire... Take it. It's my guy getting forward too much. You know, pull back, you know, you send a half, you send a back. But he's supposed you to be a ball play. playing center and a half. That's exactly what he is. But you, you have to know your limit. There's always a limit with how, that's you go have individuals in front of you that can actually do the magic. And we've got these individuals, we've got Pop Pop, we've got Bruno, we've got, um, there's one individual that actually plays good. He just needs goals to back him up. It's, um, 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 Greenwood. Whenever he plays, he plays good. He just needs to score more goals to back him up. Like, we got plays. But if our defenders are going forward and exposing not too much, what happens? Remember, our midfielders are not really that too strong to even defend in the midfield that much. Well, the fact that we play two defensive midfielders and we still concede and we're still leaking goals. What does that mean? Because we played those two to protect Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof. That's the only that's the only thing I can think of because I don't know why Oli plays two defensive midfielders and we still can see goals. It was just upset. Like that game was upset. That's yeah. like the soccer punch. Exactly. And Lindelof, Maguire, the worst partnership. And I don't understand why Oli. Still doesn't get that. Doesn't see that because we all see that. The pundits even say that like, it it won't you it won't win you a league. But yeah, it's by goes, fit, it's, it's by he was on the bench. He was on the bench. He's been on the bench for the last couple of games. You know, don't he can't say nothing. It's shocking. It's shocking. Um, it's always trying. It's like, always oh, trying. Sorry, go on. No, no, Jack, continue. You can't really blame Oli though, because by his out, who else can you play centre back? Who would you start then, if it's not Lindelof and Maguire? No, well, by is there though right now. The majority of times, Bay has always been fit. He's never, he's, not, he's already played him, so it's been on him. He's yeah. he played, he played centre yeah. back for Pep, Pep Black season. Yeah, but Bay is just coming back from injury. Remember, he got injured. I'm just saying. But came back a while it's before, the man. manager himself. Don't know that like, same management. When Liverpool had the struggle with defenders, he was defending for Liverpool in the centre half. Edison, the captain. Last season, Mancini was um, 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 this guy, 
the midfielder, the so holding midfielder, Bernardino. <clears throat> so you get what I mean? Like, if you want to win the Premier League, you got to know how to implement things when you don't have nothing to give for specific games. And so that on, give me an example, bro. What would you do then? Bailly and Lindelof? Or would it be Bailly uh, and Maguire? You know what, yeah. me, I still the believe Bayer that Lindelof, Lindelof is won better than Maguire. and Lindelof won a, a title for us. That's what I'm going to say, under Mourinho. So if what title? he can... The... the, the oh, the Mayfair Cup? Yeah. But then like, we love still conceded that goal against West Brom, innit? So I, the problem... Yeah, no, that, that's what I'm not, saying. But the main, for me, the main problem in that defence is Maguire. Not that he's a bad defender. It's just his defensive... Like, I don't know. The way he oh, defends. His positioning, his positioning is a problem. Not, he's not on the fridge. He like, is the ball of just, high fridge. Don't get me yeah. wrong. I know we don't like Maguire too tough, but we need to look at his gameplay. I think six, maybe seven times out of ten, he does okay. For me, he's an average centre back. He's not too bad, but he's not elite, and he's not world class. Unfortunately, we need at least one world class centre back, and we don't have it. So Maguire is not good enough. It's a shame that we spent eighty million on him because that's always going to follow him around, isn't it? The yeah. same with the piece that Pogba was. Um, Remind me of Andy Carroll. Who? Andy Carroll. From Newcastle to Liverpool. One thing, yeah, <laughs> the, those peas don't really follow Maguire around like it does in the media with Paul Pogba because people, the media, they let us, they let us, when they let us time, know and they let him know he cost 80 something million. But Pogba Maguire, made the, it's Pogba made the under headline. the carpet. It doesn't even, it, it's under the carpet because it's not really said in the, in the pundits and the English media, bro. We say it, he cost 80 million pounds, but do they say it? Nope. But yeah, we need a new centre back, man. That's the main thing. And I in think this we need, season, are we going to be splashing new centre backs? In my opinion, because it's not. Sure. I'm with you. Are we going to switch like that? Bro, let's be real. We want to buy two centre backs. So in the day, I, if the transfer window was to come, I prefer two new centre backs in the holding midfielder because we can still try and do something with our forwards. Because the forward score, think about this, yeah. And get a new coach, but the forward score. We need a right. Back. Think about this, yeah. If we, we come right second or third, think. if we come second or third, yes, don't you think it, we, we, it's we a very good start? Right Remember that. Don't forget that. <laughs> no, we got. We, I, I like the ones we got, though. That's how serious. Don't you our think if are, we so start oh, the yeah, manager yeah, right, the season <laughs> with this team that we've got? Don't you think that's a good? That's a that's a plus. Because I'm just saying the team that we've got, they're already used to the league. You just need a little bit of genius. Then look at Chelsea. You just. I don't want to hear that nonsense. No, bro, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. We can have Pep and... I don't know. My night, this team is not winning the league. So what are you trying to say? We're cursed. We're cursed since Ferguson. Need, no, not at all. But a, we need the players. We need a new centre-back. And instead of buying two centre-backs, I would rather buy one centre-back mm -hmm. and then buy a right winger because at least for now, we'll have the new centre-back and buy it. Considering the way... The first centre -back. Considering the way that the team, I mean the man, the man, the, I'm sorry, the club manages itself, yeah, yeah. I think ideally it is one centre back and one right winger because you know how we move, bro. But but then they need to be elite, though. We need to splash, you know, eighty mil, eighty mil. Get Jack, the quality. It you took know? us two, two seasons to sign on 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 Maguire. Two seasons. Mourinho wanted him. They said no to Mourinho, and they gave it. They gave him to to Oli. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, this is someone that the club is chasing. Like I said, our, the, we might not win. It's going to be hard for us to win the Premier League. It's out. We, we might win over trophies because the reason why we might not win the Premier League, our decision-making are poor. Our decision-making are poor. We always In which way? Down for our, like, for example, why spend two years to get Maguire mm -hmm. when you could have got better defender? Because, remember, they've been building this team for seven years to compete I mean the same Premier League title only done only done excellent I think only done great only just shown everyone what this player is capable of doing all the club needs to do take beat, beat the boss take a stand get rid of the manager next season and build something different around this this place this particular group that we've got this season Amo, let me tell you brilliant. something the brilliant team Amo, let me tell you something bro. 
You know, when it comes to players, the difference between elite players is that they do it week in, week out, consistently. I feel like with our team, I don't really feel like, I can't see too many players that can do it week in, week out. They can do it for 38 games of the season, you know? They can do it throughout. The, the front 11 is almost there, touching, but it's a squad game, unfortunately, and our squad is simply not good enough. And I feel like we can say we need a manager all we want, a new manager all we want, but until you fix that problem... Mm-hmm. It's true. We're not going to compete too tough. No, like, I get what you're saying. But like I said, change the manager and bring it to three phases. The same thing they did for Jose when he came as a manager. Because mm. every new manager you get, when the season starts, he's going to tell you he wants. Because he wants to improve certain areas. And you make sure you get them who they want. Let yeah. me tell you this. Anytime Manchester have been good so far with what we've done so far this season, I think it's excellent. I was. I still think we're overachieving. I still think we're overachieving. Mm. Let's move on. Manchester United are seven points behind City now. What does it mean for Manchester United right now? Because a lot of teams have actually caught up with us since we've been dropping points. We've got Leicester City, who could potentially leapfrog us. And this was a team that was two. Was it two, three, four weeks ago? Again, that was in a tight race. But look at us now. It really says a lot. When the, when the pressure hits us, we just can't do it. But what does it mean for Manchester United right now, being seven points behind C? Jags, let me ask you that. It's not something for us to really concentrate and look at, to be honest with you. Um, we're not in a title race. And looking at this season, I, feel, I think we've had eight or maybe nine different teams that have been number one in the Premier League, it's been that competitive this season, you know? So, okay. we shouldn't really be looking at C. I feel like we should be looking at the teams in and around us and trying to capitalise, especially when they drop points. And that's something we can't do, you know? Because when these teams drop points, we need to be able to get two or three points away from them. And we're just not doing that. Sheffield United, West Brom, teams that you should be collecting points with ease, we dropped five points. Five points could be the difference between second and fifth, the way this season's moving. You just never know. So we shouldn't be looking at City. Let's see Flourish and do what they're doing. Let's worry about top four. No. Chelsea, is, Chelsea is coming still. Chelsea, I think they, they're now seeing the full number four, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have, they have entered the top four now. Right. They're in the top four now. Remember a few weeks back, Chelsea was way off. Way off, like you said, it all though, because the point difference between the team is not that much. So, I think it's just 17 and 16 that got, I think, 11 points different. 11 or 9 point difference, I can't remember, but it's like three games different, literally. But every other position is close. Mm-hmm. Like, like we, we, you just said it all. We shouldn't really focus on the, the table, the, the, the bottom position itself. Just team around us, see if we can get up on Champions League football next season, which I think will be another amazing step for us. But it's looking peak. Teams are coming up. up. If we can get out of the group stage this time around, isn't it? <laughs> which is true. Which is true. And that's... You just said it a lot, though. Mm-hmm. We always, like, this just emphasize on what I've said. We're settling down for things that we shouldn't. But based on tradition and I do understand why they're doing it, but it never helps you to achieve your goals. It just gives you foundation. And that's what we've seen with Manchester since Palace and Left. Foundation. But yeah, moving on to a couple of just good news for Manchester United so far. Breaking news, of course. Mason Green will sign in a new five year deal till 2025, which is. Congratulations to him after going through a tough time in the past couple of weeks. So I'm pleased with my boy. Jax, man, how do you feel about Mason Green was signing a new contract? Do you feel like it was well-deserved? Of course. What sort of question is that? Did you not see what he done last season? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. It's a, it's a well-deserved contract. I know he's had a rocky season this season. Mm-hmm. But fans, remember what this guy done last season. Yeah, remember man. the age he's at. Yep. And remember the inconsistency in which he's been put in and out of the team this season. 
that alone affects form. That's so true. for me, I'm delighted he signed a five-year contract and I genuinely believe he will be one of the core players within the, that next five years for our team, 100%. I see him being... He's not... I don't want to compare him to Rooney as a player, but I can see him having that type of effect, even more so him being a United boy, you know? So, yeah, it's great news. Great news. And what about you, Amut, man? How do you feel about Mason Greenwood? Yeah. Jeg just said it all, man. You and Jeg just exactly. said it all, bro. What? No, no. Jeg read my, no, my, my mind. No, Jeg read my mind. No, you don't, bro. Jeg read my mind. He's a good player. I just mentioned him. I just mentioned him mm-hmm. like a few minutes ago. Just, that's just let you know. I already know what he can do. He's an excellent player. Very good young star. We are, we are lucky to have him in the team. Like, like obviously, he's a good homegrown kid. From the city itself, from the club itself, from the club itself. Like, come on, you can't get better than that. Last him having a fun, like an amazing effect on Manchester United. That like, he's going to become one of the top boys. Do you know what? I want to see us buy a right winger. I promise you, this mm-hmm. kid can do it up front. Yeah, up front. Yeah, I, I believe he's a striker, you. but I don't know. He has how the IQ and the technique to do it Nick. up front. Mm-hmm. And we have got Cavani. The right winger. We just got we got Cavani that he's gonna learn more from. Do you remember the last game? I can't remember what game it was. I think Greenwood either scored or assisted. Something happened, and the way Cavani went over to uh, Greenwood and was talk speech in him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cavani is one of the top goal scorers worldwide in Europe. Elite. He goes elite. top five, elite. So for Greenwood to be growing up under that, amazing. That's something Rashford didn't have. So that would improve no, him. He kind of has Zlatan. Yeah. For one season, months, months, it was months, just one yeah. season. But even then, that was a bit too late. I feel like by then, Rashford had already played what over one hundred. Yeah, he came in. Yeah, but same, true. same true. thing. Like Mason Greenwood, he was already playing before Cavani came. True, true. But yeah, yeah. Well, we move on straight to the Premier League weekend round up, guys. Of course, we have had Liverpool getting battered by Leicester, getting touched up, and of course, City as well. Touching up Spurs of usual. Spurs loving to bend over for any team these days, you know. They just love it. They, they don't mind if you don't use Vaseline these days, Spurs. Arsenal winning, of course. Are you a mad kid, you know? No, but it's true, no, no. All they do is sit back. <laughs> sit back, soak pressure, you know. <laughs> Part the bus FC, as always. And of course, as I said, Arsenal as well winning. Manchester United drawing. Not the best week again, but of course, of course, of Manchester City, the game against Spurs. Let's talk briefly about that game. If you guys watched it, Jags, I know you watched it. You guys did watch it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I made my message to you. I messaged you. Yes, you did. Can you voice not? <laughs> City again. City again <laughs> doing their thing as a threat. It's looking like they could be title contenders right now. And they, it's looking like they will win the titles, I mean. They played Tottenham like it was a training session. In it, like it was like a training session. Mm. The yeah, football sure. is just different. The football is different. Like I haven't seen in watching Tottenham fo- football team play here makes me say Alhamdulillah. That <laughs> Mourinho actually left the club. I used to feel yeah, that way. Point. Point. I was like, you see, I used to feel that you. way. Angry, like pain, like you just see your team. All you do is defense and getting tortured. You get in touch different places, like you, like a, like a you, a Junge. <laughs> Everyone's getting through you. You know, no <laughs> back in the day when they see you, a Junge. When you see the Junge, I went old school, fam. Hey, I went I old heard school. That in, yeah, I heard that. In, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Junge. You're a Junge. Yeah, Tottenham, bro. The Marine team, then. Uh, <laughs> the goals are just... Sanchez look like, you know when you go sniper? Mm-hmm. That's... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Can we have a moment of silence for what Gundogan done to Sanchez? <laughs> yes, exactly. Wait, wait, His head slapped the floor, you know? I heard it. That's what I'm saying. Headshot. Head that head... Nigga, headshot. Then nigga, headshot. Then he drop on the floor. Boop. He was trying to block the ball, innit? Like, uh, my mum got a headshot. <laughs> Whoop. 
Uh, uh, reminds me of the that Phil Jones would do. Yeah, you know, exactly. Those, 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 those mad um, stuff. I swear, I was thinking, is that J- Phil Jones' brother, bro? Like, <laughs> Jones, well, go on. I didn't know you had a black brother. <laughs> do the same thing. But now, shout out to Gundogan, though. Even R.I.P., though, man. Uh, ops, Gundogan, he's got like 11 goals in 12 now, or 10 goals in 12. Yeah, man, he's been stepping since Kevin De Bruyne's been injured, hasn't it? He? he has he's been. No, mm-hmm. he's on form, so shout out to him. He'd had a good game, very good game. But uh, my game of the week... I'm not doing game of the week yet, bro. You when you're talking about the Man City match itself, just exercise a little bit about Man City match. Wait, I'm getting game of the week, but I can't wait to tell you what my game of the week is. <laughs> um, <laughs> Of course. Yeah, to be fair, Man City just overpowered Tottenham, isn't it? That's all it was. Um, <laughs> they dominated the game throughout. When you sit back against a team like City, that's what you're going to expect. So, there you go. Well, again, we're moving up to Liverpool as well, losing, of course, against Leicester. <laughs> that game there. Liverpool not doing too well. Not doing too well so far, man. Mm-hmm. It's terrible, man. It's Let terrible. me tell you something. I saw that game, yeah. And the one thing I can tell, like, you know, in football, men, it's not all about skill. Of course, we all know this, but m- mentality, mm-hmm. that's a lot of, that's maybe 50% of it, you know, because when Leicester scored that um, equaliser, I physically saw Liverpool, Liverpool's players. Cool enough. Mm-hmm. Head down, mm-hmm. they stopped chasing aggressively the way they were doing. I don't know if they were tired, but it's just that they're not feeling it. This season, they're not feeling it. Klopp can't speech them and motivate them without, without Van Dyke. They're looking at Van Dyke. Van Dyke is there injured. And they're just looking at him thinking, bro, bro please come back. We need you. Come back. <laughs> it's true. So, um, yeah, Liverpool bottled it for me. And shout out to Leicester. Great performance mm-hmm. towards the end of the game. First half, the first 60 minutes. Leicester couldn't string three or four passes together. Oh, they were just a bit more direct. What but... was Alisson doing these days? What's Alisson on? Alisson's been in some mad shit these days, you some know? Some madness, some yeah. madness. These mistakes are big. Some mad calls they're, not, they're, not, they're not the type... David De Gea's mistakes are way different. They're like, oh, clumsy shit. But this guy's coming out doing madness. <laughs> Ever since he's come back from that, I don't, I don't know what madness he had here, but... <laughs> I don't think it's well, what, I hope he didn't have the COVID or... vaccine because the COVID vaccine makes you move mad afterwards, apparently. <laughs> uh, it takes a while. Like, so the way he's just been doing irrational things. Jesus. What did you think about Salah's goal, though? Yeah, it was decent still, man. Beautiful like, system for me, Neil. Beautiful. Like, it's been football that makes me feel like it's beautiful to watch football, man. Was, it was a great goal, but do you know what it is? When you score they a goal, bo- like you said, they bottled it. It's like they bottled it. Mm-hmm. They bottled it. You said it. Oh, like, like, I don't even want to talk about Liverpool too tough. <laughs> yeah, they're looking at top six right now. Let's focus on left. I feel like they're going to be more of a threat to us. Do you, Bar- that do, you, do you think Harvey Vance can touch the England squad? I think he should get a little look in. He, is, I, I, he looks like he's coming, he's coming across a different player now, you know. The last couple of seasons, you see, you saw the potential. He's been making his name quietly. But now, this he's a bit more matured in the Premier League right now. He's doing well. He's showing his qualities now. And I think that's probably a testimonial, I mean, a testament to um, Brendan Rodgers because he's, he brings the best out of these players at Leicester, especially the way he plays as well. So, yeah, man. Yeah. If he keeps up his form, he could be a wild card for the Euros, you know, because he's having a decent season, Barnes. And for me, he was man of the match against Liverpool still. Of course, guys, let's move straight to this week's game of the week, match week 24. I'm going to start off with you, Jay, since you earlier on wanted to say that you wanted to do game of the week. You were so eager for it. So let me let you go first, bro. I want to hear it. We just spoke about the game, so I'm not going to bang on about it too much. Mm-hmm. But I had a great weekend watching Leicester come back and humble Liverpool 3 1. The last seven minutes of that game, 10 minutes, beautiful to watch. It made my day, I'm not going to lie. Great, great, great game. The neutrals loved it. Liverpool fans, obviously, I'm sorry, but <laughs> boys, you boys need to step up because your run of form is looking a bit messy right now. You're looking like you want to slide into the mid table. Come on, I man. Know. 
And then you centre back came in and had a madness with Allison. You know, <laughs> he looks all right apart from that. You know, I'm not gonna lie. He done the simple things well, but that thing, <laughs> boy, that was my game. Swear so, yeah, down, your game of the week was my game of the week as well. Look at to you, you get me. You know, Bundy Arsenal today, you get me. Manza Scouser, you get me. These bloody Scousers, damn, bro. I can't believe it, James. You know, I was enjoying it, you know, just to see Liverpool get a move to in those seven minutes, those mistakes they were making, bam. Boy, but my condolences to um, Brendan Rodgers, you know, because them man's tried to take the piss, but he's, he lost his mum, like, and, and he's unable to even go and see. With Brendan Rodgers? Yes, he has lost his mum last week. My yeah. condolences because he's been yeah, really, tough, really well. tough and he wasn't able to go to the funeral as well because of this COVID thing and his job as well. So it's like your job over what you do, and you? you don't want to get into trouble, apparently. I think so. I don't know what. What, what what happened? But he was unable to, or you can't travel there. But yeah, man, Liverpool so and his family, therefore, therefore, man. But Liverpool, boy, boy, <laughs> boy, boy, boy. I can imagine these scousers. You know, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Three, four games in a row, he still can't win a match. I can't believe it. All these Liverpool fans are pissed. That is my game of the week, guys. I'm not gonna lie. What about you, Mook? My game of the week is the C game, bro. Mm. That is the C game. The one where, like, where you know, watching, I don't know. Open their legs. Yeah, I know the Junges. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, obviously, Liverpool match was exciting. It makes you feel good. I mean, it was a very good start for the day. You just see that. It's a very good start. You get what I mean? But mm -hmm. what C D what did, because obviously, we used to have Ozzy as a manager. And just watching it from a, I'm not from, from a different perspective, a different um, angle. Not, I'm not supporting your team in that. It makes me say, Alhamdulillah, I felt good that I don't have us in my team. It's just different football. You don't do that to teams at this level. You don't do that. It's difficult to play against City. I said City like six, seven weeks ago, I mentioned City. And the reason I've done that is because of what I see them doing, the changes that the way the players just want to play. It's like you know, when you wake up someone from sleep and they got 10 times the energy that you would expect them from having. That's what I see from Man City. And to be honest with you, I see I think they might win this league. If they, like like Jack said before, okay. it's looking tight, mm -hmm. but they're showing different pace. Different there's, pace. A, there's a small gap, imagine now, isn't there? Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. so, and one thing to add to what you said very quickly, I know we're coming to the end of the show. Um, the one thing I'd say that Pep's doing very well. He's been doing it, but this season especially, the interchangeability between players. Players are just moving around. And it's so hard to track C players, you know, mm -hmm. because one minute Foden's on the right, next right. he's on the left, next he's in the middle. Oh. Sterling comes in, Sterling goes, it's just like, hey, you want to be tired defensively with these men. So it's good to see good football in the Premier League, but it's just a shame it's not us. I know, we all like to be like that sometimes, Rish. you know. That in, to enjoy that type of football, but hey, football. People, some people are happy with what we have right now. So that's what I like, though. That's what <laughs> yeah. I would love to have. That's what I would love to. If, 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 even if I lose game, but I just know I'm still gonna win. It's just that football that is beautiful. City had, see, see, this is the beginning of the season. City had it rough. They had it rough. Did, but just did. see how that transformation. From sitting, I was saying like almost eighth in the beginning of the season to climb up all the way there. I like that though, and the way they got it there, not by playing long ball, but the Jack just mentioned it. That football there, I like it. It's beautiful. Like if I was, that's what as a Manchester fan, that's how I want to see my team play. Yeah. But look, guys, do let us know exactly what your game of the week was, and also what you thought of the game against West Brom. We're moving on straight to the Real Sociedad versus Manchester United Europa League back at it again Thursday night. Of course, you're going to be hearing dun, 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 for for now on towards the end of the season, guys. Sociedad will be playing them at the Juventus Stadium, of course, because we won't be playing at them at their ground. I don't know the reason why. Of course, 
I don't know, but we'll play that Juventus. And then, of course, return leg will be at Old Trafford. There's no problems there. Ross Sociedad, David Silva's there. You know, Adnan Yanazai will be playing against us, of course. He is also there. So it'll be a good game for him as well. It's going to be some, a game that means a lot to him. But, yeah. Sure. Manchester United back in Europe. What do you think, guys? Jay, let's start with you. <laughs> this one will be an easy game, you know. Real Sosia, they're sitting fifth in the league. They've won their last two games. So they're not going to Juventus' ground to play. We can't even finish off West Brom. What makes you think we're going to do anything against Real Sosia? Real Sosia, yeah, you know? So for me, I'm obviously wanting a win, but um, I feel like this could be a tricky one. But I'm going to go with the win anyway, because we have to win that game. We need to have that win and come back to Old Trafford and, and get into the next round. No excuses whatsoever. So I want to go for the win. What about you, Amok, man? What do you think, man? What do you think about this game? Obviously, it's going to be a tough match. Like Jake said, we didn't. We found it hard against Westbrook because we just played it. And you play in Europe for a game that you haven't played in Europe for so, so long. You don't travel that far. And everything that's going on, I think they're going to have it rough. But hopefully they can prove us wrong and do something good. But I don't really trust this place at this present moment. And especially because they're travelling all the way there. I just feel like they might get it rough. But in, but if they come back in no travel, they might do something different. But the first leg is going to be rough hard. So I might say either a draw or we lose 1-0, 2-1. Mm, get the away going, as they say, in it. Mm-hmm. Get that you, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to me. I don't know when it comes to Manchester United so far, especially when we're gonna play away in Europe. But because guys, you take into factor that, um, of course, it's not at their grounds. They're not gonna, they're not gonna feel some kind of way because they 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 are the home team, but they're playing away. Of course, this doesn't matter no more because there's no fans. There's no fans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. I don't see no free at the back. I don't want to see no McFred. Like we need to go there and play football. I don't know, man. I don't know if we'll win, man. Let me to be honest with you. I just feel like we might win. But then again, we might end up losing or drawing, you know. It could be a it could be a disaster, you know, it can be an embarrassing night. You just never know with Manchester United these days, man. I don't know what to now, I'm not no. confident, man, especially with the coaching team that we have and, and management and also the players as well, where they are right now. I just don't know, man. Never know. So guys. I think we're going to probably end up... To me, I'll just say a draw. I want to say a draw, you know. I'll just say a draw, because the draw is a positive result for us. I, I can't be optimistic about this one, though. That's why I have a draw. Yeah, I can't. No, we have to. Our way team is good, so let's do it. Let's get that, that W, man. Come yeah, but a draw is still a good team. <laughs> it's not for us. Competition. We don't do well. And that, I don't mean a goalless draw. I mean a scoreless draw. Mm, get that one. Get that way it goes in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but moving on straight to the other match preview Manchester United versus Newcastle this weekend on Sunday. Another Premier League game. Hopefully, this time we can get these three points because we need it now. Of course, Newcastle a decent team, they're not the best, of course, they haven't had the best form so far. Everything tells you that, yeah, we'll win, we'll win, we'll win, we'll win. But in reality, again, Manchester United, unpredictable. You don't know which team you'll get. But again, I'm confident that we can go, and not go there, I mean, actually beat Newcastle. We will, we should get these three points. So I'm a bit confident in that game right there that Manchester United will get the three points against Newcastle. As long as we play by and not play those two Whichever one you want to play, just play by and watch one. Because mm-hmm. I'm, like, I'm not confident. No, I agree with you. We need to play by. Mm-hmm. But I feel like Wilson and was it Amaron? Mm-hmm. They're gonna give our centre backs problems, man. Because Wilson's a very good striker, and Amaron's got that energy and that determination. You know, he reminds me a little bit of Richard in, oh. in the way he's aggressive and he's passionate about just you know the way he plays. But if we can also get someone on Shelby, because Shelby is one of their main playmakers, 
get someone on him as well, we should have a good chance. But boy, who knows? It's like rolling the dice with United. Mm-hmm. So who knows? <laughs> to be honest, I really don't know about this game. So I'm just gonna go with the draw. Cool. Uh, what about you, Amok, bro? I'm gonna be optimistic. I think we might we should win this game. Mm-hmm. Just to keep just to keep us. Sorry, my friend. Yeah. I think we should win this game just to keep our title hopes going. Not the title hopes, but just stay in the top four hopes going. We definitely need to win this game. Because we cannot lose or get another draw. I think the team itself should start looking at themselves and their players, only all the managers go start evaluating new stuff, bringing new stuff to the table because it's the second half. Then you, this ain't no time that you can, I'm going to catch up a point with people. No. Every single team you play right now, you have to either get points from them because you're not playing them no more this season. Any, any, any points you drop, you're dropping it for bro. And are we going to take all the points? Or sixty percent of the points, which I think we should do. It, but let's see what happens. But I might go for a win. We need to win. Two you go two nil. I'm just being optimistic. And then let me just emphasize a little bit on that. Is it Admiral, the, the the striker, the guy, the guy from Newcastle? Yeah, Amaron, I think his name is. Amaron. Yeah, I seen him. He's got this little where he he likes them small corners. Like his position in this evil. Uh, what, even though, he, the, the, like yesterday, he, he he didn't really execute the ball properly, but how the that place where he was when the ball got there, I was like, wow, wow. Against Chelsea yesterday, because I watched the match. Like he, I, I watched him yesterday. I was impressed with it, with him a little bit what he did. I'm actually scared of him. His position in is too much. He's like, he's a small guy. No, I'm not afraid that I'm a wrong guy, bro. We'll see what he's saying, bro. But yes, guys, let us know what you think about the match against Newcastle and also the match against Russell. See that whether we're going to win, lose, or draw. At the end of the day, we have come to the end of the show. It's been a good show today. Of course, we're going to, of course, introduce you to the guys and let them plug in their shit, you know, their, the way you can find them. You get me? Guys, of course, we're going to start off with Amok. Amok, let us know where the people can find you. On Instagram, prettyflacco underscore 610. And what about you, Jags? Where can they find you? Uh, Instagram, Jags underscore United. <laughs> Man said it with no passion, no soul, bro. Uh, Instagram, <laughs> Jags. Underscore. If we win the next <laughs> game, then I will dance with my own. I'll dance. I'll do anything. But we need to win. You get me? Yeah, we do get. I, I don't blame me for being like. Yes. Since me and you touched on Oli Juice, thing went wrong, you know. <laughs> Trust me. Why do you think I'm drinking Lucas Day today? I left that Oli <laughs> alone. Man. No more Oli Juice. <laughs> I have a surprise. I think I, I think Oli Juice suits you more than all of us. <laughs> you That's were only for a hot set. Yeah, man, that was the good times. But guys, of course, you can find me on Red United TV. Of course, you can find these guys on Red United TV. Remember to subscribe as well. We smash that like button. Yeah, me. Remember to share Ivorian Spice and share Ivorian Spice is caring. As always, remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV One. And remember to follow me. On, on Instagram, which is ever on the school spice. And of course, guys, just create a TikTok account. So far, so good. Remember oh, yeah. to follow that <laughs> of Red, which is at Red United TV. Yeah, man, I just started it off, man. So might as well drain a wave in it before you get left behind. You didn't yeah. send me the link. You didn't even send the link. What's wrong with you? What links, bro? Are you got, gonna are you on TikTok? That. It was like you're not on TikTok. <laughs> How do you know? I ain't got I ain't got that. <laughs> I haven't got account. <laughs> and let me end it, guys. Of course, ladies, as usual, remember to share the link to your man, your ex man, of course, your current man. You know, and the guys that you like, guys, you don't like to know to let them know that you found a man that does it way better than them, of course. And as always, guys, 
Remember to try and keep it united, keep your mind united, keep your spirit united, keep your soul united, keep your emotions united, guys, because it's, I just don't know what to say. But as always, remember to keep it reunited, because we out, baby. We out. Peace out.